everybody. So in this video, we're going to be talking about small cell lung carcinoma. And um, for the most part, the reason it's called small cell lung carcinoma is because of the fact that it's named after the size of the cancer cells after you look at them under a microscope. The size of the cancer cells when you look at them under a microscope. So obviously, they're going to be small. Okay, so that's why they're called small cell, right? These are gonna usually start in a bronchi and then it grows quickly. Okay, so we're gonna start in the bronchi and grow quickly and spread or metastasize. Okay, so, and then it's gonna spread to other organs and Usually, by the time we diagnose this, it's, it's already um, spread to other organs. So, it's usually, can we see this down here? Usually spread to other organs. by the time the cancer is found. I'm gonna to try to squeeze this in here. Let me just go like this real quick. And so by the time the cancer is found, it's usually spread to other organs by the time the cancer is found. So now, this is going to be in different stages than we're going to see with our non-small cell carcinomas. Okay, so this is a little easier. So, um, small cell lung carcinoma stages. All right, we have the limited stage. Okay. And in the limited stage, the cancer is just found in the lung and the lymph nodes in the lung. Okay, so that's pretty simple. That's pretty simple. And then, of course, on the other extended stage, that means it's no longer in the lungs. So the cancer has spread to other organs. And pretty simple. So again, so in small cell carcinoma, what's going to happen is it's named after the fact that it's small cells when looked at under a microscope. Um, there's basically two stages. There's a limited stage, means it's still found in the lungs. I guess I could put lungs and, and lymph nodes in the lungs. And then the extended stage just means that now it has spread to somewhere else. So that's it for uh, small cell lung carcinoma.